everyone. Hello, my beautiful creative butterflies. Do you guys just want me to intro you guys as that, my little creative butterflies? So, I'm back. We're doing February Zodiac finally, which I'm sure a lot of you are happy about. And this Zodiac is all human. It's not like when I did Sagittarius, which I believe was the last human like sign that I've done so far. So, but with Sagittarius, they're like half human, half horse. So, a centaur. And this is all human. This is all human. And they're pouring a jug of water. And it's Aquarius, which is February's zodiac. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna get down to it. I just had to take a break from doing a zodiac for a minute because I had to do, obviously, Valentine's Day happened in February. So I had to concentrate on doing that holiday. And I hope you enjoy enjoyed those looks, by the way. Both of them, never did them before. One turned out a bit more cartoony, which was cool. And the other one, I'm surprised worked. I think the most, the hardest part on the love letter, the love letter one, was actually getting the t my skin tone, the tone of parchment paper. As always, we are going to draw this man or lady, Aquarius, the best I can. Because everything else will be simple. I'm hoping. Galaxy wise on my chest, I'm thinking blue and green. I'm thinking Northern Lights colors, which I know there's, I think there's purple in the Northern Lights too, but I'm not sure about purple. Blue and green, I'm pretty sure of. And didn't I do those two colors with another zodiac I did? think so. Anyway, let's get this sharpened. And we're going in with brown, by the way. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, I will tell you that. This is going to be very, very interesting. I'm thinking this way because I can do something cool with the waterfall if I want to make the water drip over this way. That would be kind of cool or just down this way. I don't know. You know, let's, ju let's just go for it. Oh, God. I look at the simple drawings of these zodiac signs when I draw them on my like chest. Like they're the simple drawings and they still look a little difficult. I don't know, do I start from the, I'm thinking I start from the head down. I don't know. And, and to put you in perspective, this drawing is showing from the back. Don't you love it when you're when you get your hair cut, ladies, and then when you put it in a ponytail and it's slowly starting to grow back, so not all of it fits in the ponytail and it's just this little weird tail. Yeah. Same. Okay. I'm actually a little terrified. Cause I don't... Got a little... Oh, uh, okay. 
Okay, that is... so happy this is covered and I guess you do not want to see this I okay as of right now I'm just gonna say this right now I am so sorry for the Aquarius Aquarius people right now I am so sorry if this turns out god awful just just know I am I am trying my best I'm trying my hardest so I am deeply deeply sorry right now because I'm drawing this right now and I am as of right now I am deeply deeply sorry so let's pray together and hope this turns out because I'm, I'm mm. You don't want to see what it looks like right now. Let's put it that way. You don't want to see this. But I'm trying my best. I'm trying my hardest. So, but I am apologizing if you feel offended in any way, shape, or form. That was never the intention. Especially when I do these zodiac signs. That is never my intention. My intention is to do these signs the best of my ability and skill. And... That is the only intention I have whenever I make these time videos and just my videos in general. Okay? Just bear with me. I kind of see where I was for
That's what? confused on what body part I'm drawing right now because this I I don't know what to make of this I'm very confused on the anatomy that I'm drawing. <laughs> um, mm. <laughs> Thank you. 
I will be right back. I need to finish his leg. I'll be right back. I promise. Oh, you can see him a little bit. I'm sorry. Hello. Um, how you doing? So, from what we know of what I've done of the human anatomy of what I've drawn, this was, to be honest, there was a part of this person's Aqu Aquinas's uh, person, because what it shows is, oh, you can't even see. Basically, it's a man. I know it can be a man or a woman, but this this is a guy, and he there was a piece of the anatomy that I did not understand, but that was attached to him, or that looks like, you, you know, um, but yeah, this is just a guy pouring over some water, water out of his jug. The jug, however, came out pretty good, and the water spilling out of it is alright. Unfortunately, from what we've come to realize, which, uh, Sagittarius is that I am not good at um, got marked up already pretty good. Oh my gosh, it on my hand. But uh, we're I'm me so not so good at drawing the human aspects, especially when I was younger. I always drew animals better than humans and I'm still and I'm slowly learning that my style of humans when I draw on paper I do it a tag cartoony not super cartoony but like kind of a taste of it but when I draw these things go wrong so I know I apologized once before, Aquariuses of the world, please do not take offense to this. Again, I, I did all that I could with the power and skill that I have and what I did. I try and do these the best of my ability, especially when I'm doing stuff that's new to me. Especially when I'm doing the zodiacs, and your zodiac, unfortunately, since it's all human, is um, he? Let's just put this in perspective. He no longer looks human in the face. He looks a bit, a bit jumpy, a bit froggy. Uh, he had a mushroom type haircut. <laughs> His face didn't come to par, and then there was a piece of anatomy that I questioned. And then I tried to do him justice later, and that turned out not right. So let me. So this is him. <laughs> uh, I'm very sorry. Okay, so this was supposed to be his... Let's go on a little tour. Let me explain him. Let me grab pencil. So here is his mushroom top haircut. And then here is his face. This little line is supposed to be his jawline. Okay, and this was his other arm. You know, it's very muscly and such. And then you have his other arm, which worked out pretty well. This is the supposed to be his shoulders, um, according to, like, his back, the back of the shoulder, you know, things. <laughs> and then 
we go down, you know, spine. And this is his butt. I tried to redeem his butt a little bit. His badonk donk. Uh, I tried to save it. Uh, this is his other leg. I did not... I drew a little bit, but I did not draw the foot because it's kind of pointless because that's just going to be hidden anyways. This is his other leg. Okay, you got his foot down here, his ankle, his knee, his little um, calf, I guess. And then we have the water, we have the nice jug, and then... I mean, I don't really want to get demonetized for saying it, but he had this. It did not show. <laughs> the first, I had to erase it at first because I made it, I made it to, um, what's the word, girthy, and this drawing showed him that he's not very girth, girthy down there. Um, and then we go to this. This is what I was questioning because this is a dude, but yeah, he had some side boob or maybe that's supposed to be his peck. I don't know, but that's what I questioned in the drawing. Maybe that's supposed to be his side peck, but it looked more like a boob than a peck. And unfortunately, <laughs> I drew it a bit saggy. <laughs> um, that that is the tour of what I drew. Uh, honestly, I could, if you want this a bit more. Um, I don't because if I. Because the thing is, if I cut this in half, make it smaller, I, I guess I could do it. it okay, let's, let's just do that. Let's just fix his side peck, side boob, whatever it's supposed to be. And again, I don't want to say the other anatomy that's on him because I don't want to get demonetized. Just, just in case, I'm just... I'm just saying this for the sensitive Karens out there, uh, because we all know Karens be sensitive these days and like to be in people's business. Okay, let's, let's fix you, at least this half of you. That was weird. I, I'll fix his side pack. Other than that, I tried to salvage what I could. So let's, let's fix his side pack. Yeah. It's, it's not that I don't know what that is. Obviously, everyone knows what this, what this anatomy is. Again, I'm just trying to be careful of the carrots. I could, I could put a towel on him. That's a thought. Or like a robe thing. <laughs> Chew. Excuse me. I'll just leave him alone. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin, ruin it. I've tried, just know that I tried my best. I did fix your side peck. I tried to salvage your badonk donk. And 
and I'm sorry that he looks a bit froggy in the face and head. Sometimes these don't work out. I don't know why I sound Scottish or Russian or whatever language. Okay, now that that's always the hardest part. Now to save on time, I already put on concealer, foundation a little bit, and I also did contour. Just to save us some time, and I did put on primer potion, but I'm going to put on some more, just so there's something fresh on there. And the primer potion that I use is uh, Urban Decay Original. Just in case you forgot. If you're staring at him, I'm still I'm still staring at him. Just know I tried my best. I was really trying. Okay, so your eyeshadow I'm actually quite interested to go with. Um, eyeliner, I am going to try the white again because the white eyeliner started changing color so I'm guessing with eye white eyeliner you d you I don't know I don't know if you have any tips for me that would be grateful uh, just to see what kind of eyeshadow works best with it with white eyeliner and won't turn the white eyeliner into different colors that that would be grateful. I know. I'm still looking at him with his frog frog face. I'm sorry, but like again, I've apologized twice already. I tried my best. That's all you can really do. So what I'm thinking is obviously blue and white is what I'm thinking. for you guys. We do have some options that I'm trying to figure out is best. So. Obviously there's eyeshadow looks that like they're dark in here and then they do a little like um, eyeshadow line that connects you know what I'm talking about eyeshadow on the outside but they have like concealer in the middle I don't know what those eye looks are called but that's what I kinda wanna try I don't know if it's gonna look right but I wanna give it a go and try it cause I think it would look cool and I feel like I need to, I don't know, I just feel like I need to make, make up for this guy, <laughs> personally. <laughs> so here we go. So there's this neon blue I want to try, which I think will look really cool, and then take a lighter blue and just help uh, smudge it out. And then white's gonna go in the center, and obviously this. Or should that? We'll see what it looks like, and then if we should leave the middle tan or put white on there. We'll we'll see. So let's just try this a minute. This is a neon blue in the Jawbreaker palette called Soaked. By the way, look at that. Okay. So we're just gonna go. 
I have a different brush to connect. Oh, I kind of, I didn't, really. <sighs> Trying so hard. Because you do it normal, you take it up here into a point, and then you connect it. I mean, I put these in a point anyway, but I never connected. It with those looks. So I got this, the smaller one. Trust the process. And obviously since this is blue eyeshadow, my blue my natural blue eyes are gonna be are gonna look different. Don't know when I'm very scared. I'm using this because this is again, I need to buy more. This stuff you can just find at Meyer. Or I know some Ulta's carry CoverGirl, not all. And not every Ulta carries MAC either, which is where I find this. So, just throwing that out there.
be honest, I don't think we need a really light blue to powder this, to blur it out, because me just blurring, uh, buffing it out by itself was... like it like that and then just put and then we'll put a mix of Cullen and Jawbreaker right in the corner and then you have white eyeliner how about that cuz I think I think that would look really really cool instead of putting the white there it's like just leave that so this can shine and then yeah? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, now we gotta do it on the other side, and I'm frightened. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But you know, we did it to one side, we can do it to the other. From an artistic perspective, they, this is looking very cool. It's very uh, mask, mask-like, if you want to look at it that way.
this is a bit rounded. It's not as pointy as this, but does that matter? Does that matter? I'm growling, by the way, that's what that sound is. <laughs> also, can someone uh, answer a question for me? Why, why would... I don't know. Is growling hot? Like, I'm I, just out of curiosity. I'm just saying what you guys think. Because I'm curious as well. Like, how do you get into that? Like, how do you... Someone just growls at you one day and you're like, that fucking turns me on, bro. Like, like, I'm, I'm curious. I'm a curious human. Oh. Touched him. I touched the water. Hmm. Did not mean to do that. You know, I'm just curious. Like, does someone just randomly growl and you're just like, You're so hot to me right now. Like, I, I'm very curious person, personality, so. They have fucked up a little on this side, but we're gonna fix it. And use the low brush. All better. This is cool. Should I do my looks like this more often with different colors? Like this, this is cool looking to me because it's like a, a mask almost. This side is a bit lighter than that side. Okay. So what do I have left to do? I have to put on some white eyeliner maybe some sparkle eyeliner i don't know i found out that uh the star what was this called this is star it was star something like star stardust they're out of stardust they don't sell it anymore which kind of makes me sad a little bit but you know i bought something that's like it so but I'm gonna finish this. So I have eyeliner, I have mascara to put on yet, and then I'll come back and do the galaxy and the stars and lipstick I'm gonna do later. But yeah, that's what we're at right now. I just need to put eyeliner and mascara on and pray that this looks good to me this looks cool so yeah and then of course oh wait before I even do that I need to put in the inner corners I need to put in Colin and Jawbreaker in the inner corner
So this is just Cullen. That's pretty tight. It's pretty cool. I'm going with Jawbreaker. Jazz, jazz it up a little bit. It's this jawbreaker I'm using now. Oh, please be cool. That looks awesome. This looks really cool, and I mean it. Okay. Did it. Got them in there. Actually, I am going to shut these because they have mirrors in them. All right. Wish me luck with eyeliners and mascara. And I'll be right back. What is up, everyone? I'm back. Got my finished eyes. I'm in love with it. Honestly, I would literally wear this for festival, festivals or campaigns, maybe Halloween, but like for the m holiday makeup, but for the most part, like I'm happy with it. Um, I had, to, I did do some wings. I had to fix that a little bit, but it all ended up the way it's supposed to be. So now, we just get to color this bitch. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just thinking blue and green, to be honest. Nothing crazy. But yeah. That's really all we have left to do is just blue and green. I guess I'll well keep using the same blue I used on the, on the eyes. Seems about right to do some blue by the water pouring out of his jug. It just seems like the right thing to do. just going to cover the blue around him so he's like he's just standing in a puddle I imagine I don't know how much is in that bucket but I imagine it's quite a bit
blue over here. And then I think I'm good to add some green. He's in, he's in a mist. And I'm sure he doesn't mind. Okay, I think I'm good on blue. Now we're gonna go into some green. Let me grab a different brush. Hold on. Got a different brush. That one was double sided and I didn't feel like I didn't wanna wanted to save it for you know, other projects. Oh, this is this is gonna look cool because water and green. I think blue, blue and green work. Pink and blue work. It just works. chose blue, is green, blue and green for this is not only um, did I think it would look cool, which it does, because that pairing just works, but also like it kind of, the green kind of re represents like land and obviously blue is water because you can't have an ocean without some shore. It just makes sense. I'm done and he is fabulous. He is fabulous. Okay, now we are going to do the stars or the crosses, however, you would like to get that over there. Categorize these. Personally, they give off. 
They are crosses, but they give off the legitness of stars. I think that's good. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Should not have tipped it over. Note to self. Don't do that. Alright. So we added our stars. Everything's practically done. I just, unfortunately, with the earrings and everything, you know, naturally I have the earrings that will go really good with with the zodiac but since I don't know where my earrings are at the moment I know they're in a box somewhere I have to find them same with my rings that's why I haven't been wearing any of my rings like in my TikToks so just so you know so I'm going to do my hair and I'm going to put on my lipstick and this look will be finished. Not that I, I don't know, you're in the water all day as Aquarius and Pisces. So it's like, would you even need earrings because you would just lose them in the ocean? Something to think about. Alright, I will return. I will return. I will turn. Okay. Bye now. And we are back. What's up, you guys? So I tried to do some beach waves with a... with my straightener. Because I've seen people do it with curls with a straightener that didn't work out so then I grabbed my curler and I tried to fix it make beach waves with it down here it looks okay it's not the, it's not the best but I tried some are definitely better than others yeah also and this is Aquarius I'm very in love with this. Also, tell me why I I look like an alien that's fashionable with attitude, but I also look like a drag queen. But I feel very powerful in this. I feel like I could just strut my stuff and not give a fuck. I don't know if it's this lipstick, I don't know if it's these 
this new eyeshadow method I got going on, but I feel like a bad bitch right now that I can just strut my stuff and that, you know, I just have that attitude right now with this look. Yeah. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I really did. Obviously, messed up on our little Aquarius man. But, yeah. And I guess the question you're all asking, why did I go for such a bright lip? Literally, when I saw this color, I was going to use it for the, my last Zodiac that I did. When I was, um, you know, it was the one when I had that dark blue lipstick on. The, when I had my space buns. That Zodiac, I almost chose this color, but I chose that dark blue. And, I don't know, the minute I saw this color, I thought, Aquarius. I don't know, I really, really like it. This would def- I feel like this is a- obviously some of the lipsticks I have, they're statement pieces. So, I don't know, I just feel like a bad bitch. Alright, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Obviously, Aquariuses, I hope you enjoyed it, even though we- I messed up your little- guy over here but I hope you don't hold that against me because this was really fun to do and plus I did like this new eyeshadow experiment thingamabob that I've seen other makeup artists do with like different stuff like Valentine's Day and different colors I always thought that was really, really cool, and I wanted to give it a try, and tried it out on you. And I really, really like it. Okay. I hope, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really fun to make, as always. And you guys are all beautiful, you're all gorgeous, you're all motherfucking talented. And I love you. I love you all. And I will see you all soon.